Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've not done a video in ages, but I needed to make one for this because it's fantastic. Yesterday, my Oculus Link cable broke. It was a 90 pound cable. Uh, for some reason, it just wouldn't detect anymore via the USB type C. I was sat there thinking, oh poop, I'm gonna have to get a new cable um, and I didn't wanna wait. So I found this method to connect the Oculus Quest 2 wirelessly to your PC so you can play all of your Steam VR games uh, streamed over your wireless network. Now, I do recommend you have a 5 gigahertz router. Internet speed doesn't really matter. It's how good your computer and home network system is. So, for example, my PC is connected via a gigabit switch to my router, which, again, my router is a gigabit switch like the the ports on there are gigabit and the actual wireless is um, a five gigahertz um transmitter so again i probably wouldn't try this if your router is an old router with just 2.4 um with the two gigahertz uh frequency i'd only use it with the five gigahertz so for example i am using the night talk i think it's the r7000 router and I'm getting a fantastic experience with it. Um, it's brilliant. It's it's pretty much just as good as having a cable. So it's pretty good as well because then you haven't got cable dangling from your head. You can you can run around your entire room and fall down the stairs and do whatever. Okay, so step number one, I'll try and make this as brief as possible. We need to download and install SideQuest. So head to this um, website. I've put it in the uh, description. And we want to download for Windows 10. So click that, install the application, and we will get this, um, this application here. Now, at the moment, you don't need to do anything else. We'll go back to the guide. And again, you could just follow this guide if you want to click off the video now. Um, but again, there is some bits later on that it, it doesn't cover on here. So next, we need to um, make our account on Facebook a developer. So we go to this link here, dashboard.oculus.com. That will bring us to this page here. Sign in with your Oculus account and we need to create an organization. So for example, it will come up um, on this screen here first. So we click create, put whatever you want in there is the name of your organization, accept the terms and agreements, click submit and you will get this page here. That's it. So. Back to this website here, scroll down. If you're doing this on Windows only, you need to download the ABD drivers. So this is um, this allows the PC to pick up the headset when we plug in a USB cable later on. So we can then allow SideQuest to then push applications to the headset, if that makes sense, okay? So click this link here. It will take you to this website here. Click download, click download. That will open up a, a zip folder. Extract the zip folder to your desktop. Open it up. Click on USB drivers. This one here, Android Win USB. Right click and click install. Okay, so next, we'll go back to SideQuest. Next, we need to open up your phone application. I know that sounds a bit weird, but um, bear with me. What we need to do is enable the developer mode on your Oculus um, account. So turn your headset on and connect it to your network. So connect this to your wireless um, network and obviously connect your phone to your wireless network and go to the Oculus app. Oculus. There we are, Oculus. Next, we will see Quest, not Quest 2. Next, we go to Settings. Settings, and in the top left, we will see our headset, Oculus Quest 2. Click that one there. Then we go More Settings and Developer Mode. Make sure that the Developer Mode is enabled. So just swipe that over to the right, okay? Simple log out of that we are now done with the phone so we can unplug that <clears throat> so the next step we need to take a usb cable now this is just a phone cable for um 
on my phone, and it is a type C connector to a type three connector. You can use the type C to type C that comes with your, um, that comes with the headset. But again, it doesn't really matter because most PCs don't have the type C connector anyway. So just a normal phone one is fine. Plug him in. Okay, so go ahead and plug the um, type C cable in. You should now get a pop up on the screen. I can't do it because I've already clicked do not show this again, but it will come up saying enable um, USB connection. Do not click uh, Rift S. We're not linking it. We're not using it as a link cable. Just click. Um, it will come up with this one here. Where is it? Allow USB debugging. I've clicked at always allow from this computer. So click that one and then click OK. So I can't show you that because I've, I've already done it myself. But if everything's done correctly on side quest on here we will now see our headset picked up as a green circle at the top here so what that means is we can now tell side quest to push third party updates via the usb cable to the headset um, as long as it's in developer mode okay so that is the hard bit done We've done all of the developer options to allow SideQuest to force updates over to applications that are on the headset. Now, what we actually need, this is where the monetary side of it comes in, it is $14.99 to download the virtual desktop app on the um, Oculus um, store. So what we need to do is we need to go into the store, we go apps, and then we've got virtual desktop so it's $14.99 in the store once you've installed it just leave it on the apps don't load it up don't do anything just leave it there okay so then we come back to our side quest application and we search for virtual desktop and we click this one here virtual desktop vr patch install to headset so we click that installing all tasks complete so that has pushed that update through the um, usb cable with the developer options enabled and allowed that virtual um, desktop app that's installed on the oculus quest standalone um, to do an update does that make sense we can now unplug this because we are done next we need to download the actual um, remote the streamer for the virtual desktop. So obviously we have the client on the headset, we need to download the um, streamer app. So go to the vrdesktop.net, click download streamer app, download and install that, and we will get this application here. So go ahead, put in your username, Oculus username, you know, it can be whatever you want. Now there's some settings here on the right, this one here is in particular important because if you plan on just playing the headset, I don't know, downstairs, for example, if you click that button, it will stream the audio from your PC to the speakers that are on the headset. Now, for me, I don't need that because I use some wireless headphones. So I get the audio from the PC. My microphone is connected to the PC but I get the visuals, the game stream comes to the stream via the uh, virtual desktop. Okay, so once we've done that, we can actually open the virtual, the virtual desktop app on the headset. So let's go under apps, virtual desktop. And what can you see? Okay, there we go. So desktop, that's the desktop we're connected to. And uh, streaming, we got VR graphics quality, we got low, medium, high. VR frame rate, 90. VR bit rate, again, if you can crank this up to about 80, 90, I would. I think mine's limited to 63. But again, that works for me. And then if we go into games, we can see our Steam games. So these are games that I've played and installed previously on Steam. If we go ahead and load one of those up, 
hopefully you can see what I'm seeing. Let's have a look. That's fine. So that's it. That is all we need to do. Let me try and move this out the way. Again, so how good of an experience you will have will be down to how good your network settings or network connection is inside of your house. Hello. And I've had a really good experience with this. A cable will probably be better, a USB cable. Um, but if, for example, you want to say play downstairs or um, you don't want to rebuy all your games again on, um, for example, if you've got some friends over and you don't want to confine yourself to your computer room and you want to play downstairs and you don't want to rebuy all the games on the Oculus, um, on the Oculus uh, headset and you still want to play them on the PC, I think this will run better than the, um, than the standalone headset. Does that make sense? I, th I think I know what I'm talking about. I think I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So again, thank you for watching my guide. Let's just grab a sword and cut someone up. Yeah. Oh, yo. Yo. And again, please subscribe. Please click that like button. Let's get a very easy wave quickly. And I'll show you this game because this game is fantastic. Ah, makes me feel like I'm in Game of Thrones or something. Or Lord of the Rings. Where are they? Now, I've had no issues at all with latency. Uh, the audio is all in sync. Uh, multiplayer games, I've been able to play absolutely everything fine. And I've got obviously no cable dragging in the way. Hiya! Hiya! Time to die! Yeah. So, thanks for watching my video. Please click the like button or you'll have the same fate as this man.